Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at the 1988 Disney's DuckTales PVC Action Vinyls. Stay tuned. So as I've already stated, these are the DuckTales PVC figures from 1988. Uh, this is not the complete set. I'm only missing one figure and that's Scrooge McDuck. I picked these up from Primary Colors Retro Relics in Lincoln, Illinois. Um, he, they were $2 a piece, uh, which isn't a bad price for s figures this old and this popular. So let's go and go ahead and take a look. As you can see, uh, there is some wear on the paint. Uh, this used to be white. It's now more of a cream color. Uh, the, the paint is slowly starting to come off. Uh, these are a PVC, which they don't really make many PVC figures anymore. They bend very easily. Uh, which means they actually warp easily. Uh, it's it's kind of difficult to get them to stand on their own unless they're, you have them leaning up against something. Uh, however, unless it's some, someone like Launchpad or one of the Beagle Boys. But as you can see, here's Webby and her dolly. Very nice figure. Kind of a dirty figure. I'm afraid to clean it because I don't want more of the paint to come off than what's necessary. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And then we've got Louie with his ice cream cone. Huey, Dewey, Louie. Red, blue, green. That's how you remember. Red, blue, green. Decent paint job. I'm not sure if that's just on his hat there, if that's just the paint gradually fading off or if it was just a paint mistake there where the black is, where it connects to the green. Somewhat sloppy paint job around the bill. Uh, the sculpt is kind of sloppy on the feet and the bill, but overall not bad. And as you can see, he's carrying the ice cream cone. Then you've got Dewey here. Again, Huey, Dewey, Louie. Red, blue, green. That's how you remember. And you can tell he's up to some mischief. He's got a slingshot behind his back. Just kind of looking up to the sky, not trying to draw suspicion. Very nice figure. And right here you've got... Huey, which he's got some, looks like he's got some glue or something stuck to his feet. It looks like whoever owned this before had some wax or something on his feet uh, to get him to stand upright. Uh, they probably put him on there so that they could just stick him to the shelf or whatever. But there he is with his kite paint starting to come off around the bill kind of a dirty figure but not bad kind of a sloppy paint job on the paint on the uh, kite but overall not bad for the collection then we've got launchpad McQuack in his heroic style pose and here to just show you how flexible PVC figures are Ah, uh, broken leg. <laughs> Very flexible. Almost feels like rubber. Uh, but not a bad paint job on launch pad. Disney's DuckTales did come out in 1988. And essentially this is that's when these figures were released. So they didn't they didn't hold up too bad. Actually, it looks like 
Looks like these were released in 86. That's right. I apologize, guys. DuckTales came out earlier than that in 1986. I don't know why I keep thinking 1988. I should know 1986. I did a video on the history and origins of DuckTales. But I digress. Here we have... I had to look it up. I apologize, guys. I should have known this, but I've got a lot going on in my head. I can't remember everything right off the top of my head. So this is Big Time Beagle, voiced by Frank Welker. He was the leader of the Big Bo Beagle Boys under Ma Beagle. Uh, whenever they'd turn on Ma Beagle, it was usually Big Time Beagle that kind of led the way. Launch pad, of course, right there. It was voiced by Terry McGovern. Uh, Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby were voiced by Russie Taylor. The more you know. We have a lot of videos and playlists on this channel, so if you enjoy this content, make sure you click here to visit our channel. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Click here and here to check out one of the many playlists we have.